in this video we will walk through the data visualization part to clean the data set using f fill na and b fill na methods so what is the objective of the cleaning the data set first we need to set the environment for creating ml studio then upload data set and then create experiment for certain predictions so here we are having pre processing section then save the data so in this video we will come across this pre processing part so how to filter the data using different methods how to set the clean data so that it won't have much anomalies so what are the different steps in data cleaning it is just removing unwanted observations missing data handling that is fixing issue of unknown missing values if something is null something has, has not stored any rows or any column so it will detect the outliers and then find certain data set okay so first we will import the pandas library and the certain so i am importing pandas as abbreviation alias pd also import numpy library as np so how i have extracted this data here in the path variable how to define the location you just click on this file section on the left hand side and then click up sample data and then upload and select and browse the file from your PC it will have the extension of CSV so it must have comma separated version you can see its extension is dot CSV its iris file or you can have another data set in your PC as well so once you have imported selected the data set just click on this open and then upload it set this data set in your collab file now I just cross this section because I have already uploaded my data set here means dot tens test or anything so I'll just run this command nfl.csv to read csv will read all the attribute from this data set alright so if I have not uploaded yet ok it's going to change ok I can upload this data set again so let's say copy this copy this path and we then try to run this again so this time it's showing how many attributes are there so next I am going to copy this copy path and paste it here and by default you will have the data set path so this time I am having all these values and the certain data set here ok so now I want to print the top 10 values of my data set so it is having game id drive quarter down time and so many attributes and so many columns are there you can see few data is having null value like nan or you can see that here also it is having it is having like 
and e and here also in the first down or any e and here in x point result two point convo and so on so these data sets are our target values similarly i can see i can find out tf dot tail to find out below bottom five values of the data set here it is you can count one two three four five only five rows with one zero two columns printed over here okay now i want to check what is the sum of is null how many values are there those are null inside my data so i can see that down is having 25562 null values win pro is having this much values and so on season is having only one values now i am going to find a specific value of this df so it's gen ju just count true and false whether first data is null true second data is null false and so on Similarly, I will find missing value will be entered like dot underscore missing any at the rate question mark asterisk etc. It's not justified values. So I am going to find out y a c w p a where it is. It is just here. You can see, or I can see that defensive T or just first down values specific values so I'm going to copy it here and find out unique values of this data set so it is having unique value 0 and 1 all right means it is having only 0 and 1 values suppose I take this yd s net which means how many unique values are there so it will show that it is having 0 5 2 negative values are unique values similarly WPA is having unique values of these ar array now I want to replace I want to replace replace missing values with valuable data so for that I'll use a numpy file and missing values within list and then replace function to np.nan so it will replace all these val values to not a number values you can see here it is having nan nan and so on similarly just mis fill missing values different ways to fill the missing values we use mean there are certain methods like mean mode or b fill or interpolate, rep interpolate replace so these are four methods to replace values in inside the data so first we will find out the data type of the data set it is having data and float integer 64 and so on now I am going to replace this data set to mean of the QTR so first find out the mean of the QTR column it's 2.58 so whatever the value is represented by any n here and 1.0 or wherever it will have n a n it will just replace 2 2.58 by the mean value of entire column okay 
so it just shown inside the fill now I'm going to use that B fill okay so I'm going to erase these two lines I don't want to use new data set rather work on the old data set so B fill it will fill backward fill it will propagate the first object non null value just before the non null value and fill that data set okay and F fill will fill forward it propagates the last object value which is non null so this is done by B fill and then we will execute the F fill that is forward B stands for backward F stands for forward so it will just replace just backward values that is not null now we will have that interpolation of the data it this method will create the interpolation of the different data set so I'm going to create this df1 df1 so it is going to interpolate method so how to find out the interpolate it is just creating the graph in between down and QTR where down and QTR column name inside this DF1 okay this DF let's see alright so it is having dark or orange color I can choose like blue as well you can change the color of this graph line okay so this time it is blue similarly I want to print all these I want to drop removing all these rows from the data set which is having certain values so here I am going to find out right side of field I just copy the name of the column and just paste it here inside it control V and just drop all the null values okay then I can drop all these null values those are having all these rows those are null value because we are having one column which is having all the data set as a null so it removed all these rows if few values are set as a not set as a null so it will remove only these data all these rows rest will keep same this is how we clean the data set and process for the next step happy learning bye